So what went wrong with the Predator movie this year? There's a bunch of things I want to look at which made a lot of fans upset. And I also want to cover some ideas that have worked in the past. Now, looking at what we know so far about the Predator species, also known as the Yauchua, now you can pronounce that however you want. Anyways, this alien race is governed by a council of elders on Yauchua Prime, which is their homeworld. Even though they are extraterrestrials to us, they are not mindless killers or savages. Their society is based off a code of honor and a deep consideration into keeping their traditions intact. While they do have a social aspect to them on their ships and homeworld, the predators are mostly known as intergalactic hunters. Various young predators would be trained by their leaders and then brought into battle to hunt xenomorphs. If they are successful and survive this rite of passage, they go on to hunt other species on other worlds. Now, that's not to say they can hunt any way they want. Sure, you might say, well, why not just use the most powerful long-range weapon for every hunt? Well, the predators, even when hunting, they do follow a sense of fair game. In some situations, if they are facing overwhelming numbers, they will use more energy-based weapons, but they are taught to use weapons that would be equal to their prey. If a target has shown great skills in close-range combat, then it would bring the predator great honor and glory to challenge and defeat a worthy opponent in the same style of combat. Various young hunters would then join specific clans, and together they travel through space, visiting various worlds in search of the ultimate prey. The comic books, novels, and video games have given us some great stories around the Predator, but what went wrong with the latest movie directed by Shane Black? Well, the first thing I noticed which I could not get over was the amount of humor. There were far too many jokes in this movie. It felt like the Predator was in the movie, but just to bring some attention towards it, and the rest of the movie was trying to build up on the characters, but it failed in some way. I never got attached to any character. I can't say their acting was the best, but it was just alright. I'm sure if the script was better, their acting would have had a bigger impact. But after seeing the movie plenty of times, I just can't really get to like any character as I did in the previous movies. The amount of jokes in this movie did have an impact, but not in a good way for me. Sure, a few here and there are fine, but the movie just lacked that sense of fear, suspense, and vulnerability from the humans. Now, I'm not saying the entire movie was awful. Overall, I think the movie was just average. I did like a couple of things about it. For example, the idea of how one specific clan was upgrading themselves. And this was done through taking the DNA from their victim's spinal cords. So now we have another reason as to why some predators rip out the spines not just for a trophy, but to upgrade themselves. But keep in mind, this idea was introduced in the movie, so it could just mean that one specific clan or a very small number of predators are doing this. And what about the CG effects? Well, the only issue I have here was the upgrade predator. There were some scenes where it clearly stood out from the picture. Now, I can understand that having an 11 foot tall monster would have been difficult to construct and use on set, but remember, they did do it in Aliens, and that's another story. The whole concept of a single predator stealing technology from another clan, or maybe it was his own clan, and then being hunted down by another, is somewhat resembling what we saw in the comics. One story brought up the idea of the Enforcer Predator, who hunted down a bad blood or a traitor. It's not entirely the same concept, but it's got that small connection to it. So the upgrade, or the ultimate assassin predator, whatever you want to call it, it's really big. It's genetically modified to have its skin form into body armor or camouflage, but it also has specific vision modes and a few weapons, like the wrist-mounted plasma launcher, the wrist blades, and also a retractable spear tip with a wire. I guess you can say in some way it could be a cyborg because of the technology built into its body. This whole idea about the upgrade was really cool and I liked it a lot, so I just want to get that off my chest. That was really awesome. It eventually hunts down the fugitive predator and eliminates him. Then his focus is on retrieving the stolen cargo and also finding a new target that could be used to upgrade themselves with. That's when he wants to hunt down Rory McKenna, who suffers from autism. They see this as the next evolutionary step in mankind, but he's eventually saved by his father in the end. This movie tends to have this sense of a father wanting to bond with his son. 
For some movies that can work, but not for a Predator movie. I just find myself wanting to see who was going to get destroyed next and how. The Predator was directed by Shane Black, who has a history of making movies with a lot of jokes between the male characters, and this is where I saw it start to affect the film. I think this movie should have been approached in a way that had a lot of focus on mostly the Predators and their history and how this story was unfolding. But too much time was put onto a bunch of characters and it just took the attention off the Predators. One thing that really bothers me is that this was their chance to make the best Predator movie, but it was a missed opportunity. I'm not saying this was a bad movie or the worst movie. I actually like it. I just think it's average. It could have been a lot better. The movie did suffer from other things like cutting out characters, reshooting the third act, and also removing two other Predators from the story. But we also heard rumors a long time ago of the original script having more hybrids and even spider predators. Now, I don't know how that even made it into some version of the script because that just sounds so silly. I think some ideas from the previous films were on the right track. The first two movies had different locations, but the cast was full of great actors who were based off a good script. Sure, there were jokes in the movie, but it was very rare. Both the first and second Predator movie had kept that special dark atmosphere, that something else was out there, something they never seen before, and it was taking out anyone it wanted. The Predators had this sense of power, mystery, and brutality, but not just mindless killing, it was selective, like a hunter. The AVP movies did try different things, although they were not perfect, they brought some great ideas. The first AVP movie had a really good backstory. It brought ideas that were similar to the comic books in some way. How the Predators came to Earth a very long time ago. They taught humans how to build, and in return, the Predators were worshipped as gods. And when they returned to Earth every hundred years, they would expect a sacrifice, which would give birth to the Xenomorphs. And this is how they hunted in various pyramids. They would also mark themselves with the blood of their kill to show they are now blooded hunters. My only issue with these movies is that the first AVP movie lacked any action scenes that I enjoyed, and the Predator face wasn't as good as the first two movies, but the second AVP movie brought something different. It picks up where the previous movie left off. Scar Predator has fallen in combat and was impregnated by an alien. This gave birth to a Pred alien. It was basically the new queen alien in the group. It was large, strong, and scary, and also a new idea in the films. So something this strong had to be dealt with by an experienced hunter. We are then introduced to the wolf predator. He picked up the distress signal of the crash ship that contained the pred alien. So he takes on the entire mission by himself to eliminate the xenomorph infestation on Earth, and later learns a pred alien is loose. This also becomes his target. He slays many xenomorphs suffers plenty of injuries along the way, and even takes out the Pred alien in the end, but he also perishes by a bomb that goes off in the small town. The movie was full of action scenes which I liked a lot, however, the acting from the characters was not that good. It was like a high school film with a predator. So this movie got something right, but also something wrong, and that seems to be a trend with these movies. After so many movies with the Predators in them, it seems like the latest movie still did not grasp onto what makes a Predator movie so good. We want mystery, great actors, and a script that keeps us wanting to find out more, and also great action scenes. I think CG is passable, if it's done right. It worked out in Alien Covenant and also The Predator to some extent, but I think practical effects are always the best decision. It just makes things look more real, and that's what we want. The comics, novels, and video games have brought us great stories of hunters being captured, rescued, the introduction of human predators, brand new xenomorph types, mutated predators and aliens, along with various hybrids and other evil corporations. However, that's not to say that every idea is going to be accepted by the fans. There are a few stories that some people don't like, and it just makes them question the writers. I think if this latest movie had a much more dark and serious approach, it could have worked out better. Sure, they did something new which was the upgrade Predator, but they also cut out a lot of the story and replaced it with a different third act. What do I want to see in a Predator movie? How about a story of a hunter rising up in the ranks, hunting on various worlds? Give us some more backstory to their culture and society.
Most of what I learned about them is when I put time into reading the comic books and novels, the movies give us little information to go on and sometimes that information isn't very clear. I'd like to see a clan of predators hunt together, maybe on some off-world mission to hunt something totally new, or perhaps include the story of an elder predator. They could share their stories of their previous hunts, and maybe part of that story could mention Dutch or Harrigan in some way. As fans, we love it when they throw in something that makes us go, hey, that was from the other movie, cool. They did try that in the latest movie and I like that connection. However, I wish there was at least one story in film where the Predator survives a vicious battle and goes on to another story or is at least mentioned in the next movie. The comic books have done this before even when fighting against a strong human opponent. You cannot have a Predator movie and have the same predictable ending as always which is humans win and the Predators are eliminated. These are an advanced race of alien hunters so at least one of them should survive a story at some point. Even if the upgrade Predator survived this story, I would have loved to see it again, but instead, the ending went into a whole new direction which a lot of fans did not expect or like. The ending felt like they were going very Marvel superhero in a way, but I do agree the Predator killer suit looked cool. But if they do continue that story, maybe this is the start of human predators showing up in film, something that was shown in the comic books a few times. It could work if they pull it off right. Now as cool as that suit looked, for myself, I prefer the original Hunter idea, not this futuristic thing going on now. So what do you want to see in a Predator movie? Tell me in the comment section. To give you my direct answer, I want to see a Predator movie with multiple Hunters. The movie would have a serious tone, so that means very few jokes, great actors and maybe a story that can have connections to other stories in the past. I hope we can get a look into their culture, rituals and hunting methods and not just the same thing all the time. So put your answer down below on what ideas you want to see in a Predator movie. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more content about the Predator universe, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. My name is Carlos, or Acid Glow, and I'll see you on the next hunt.